All right, I got an interesting project today. I had a uh, call where I had a bad uh, Microtech 3 controller and the power was on. We had 24 volts to the unit, but no display. So unfortunately, the only thing you can do for a customer is you got to get them a new unit, you know, a new uh, controller. There's no way you can salvage these things because if you look, you see how this comes out. Yeah, there we go. If you look right there, there's the fuse, it's the onboard fuse. And I checked it out with my multimeter. Let me see if I can uh, get this set up. Check it out. All right, I got the meter set up. As you can see, no continuity. So the onboard fuse is kaput. So what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna take that fuse out and getting a replacement fuse is not an option. Well, if I really want to delve into it and probably pay a lot of money for it, it's an option. But what I'm thinking of doing is running a wire up through the, the hole where this tab is at. And I'm thinking about putting a little popper three amp fuse on there put it on uh, each side where the fuse goes and then I'll have a resettable fuse for whatever reason you know if I put 24 volts to it for some reason something wants to short out but there's not gonna be any loads on these uh, and all your digital outputs or anything like that so there's no reason for it to short what happened was they had a pretty bad power spike and it took out the fuse protected the you know protected the circuit but it is what it is. It's kind of aggravating. There we go. views so now let me try to find a I think I have a three amp little popper in my truck let me go get that and uh, see if I can make this work now I know I said I was going to use a uh, little popper but as I stated earlier I you know this is not going to have any load on it so what I'm going to use a piece of thermostat wire and I'm just gonna set that on there and I'm gonna you know braze that braze I don't think I'll braze it I will uh, solder that in place and uh, get the board functional because like I said this can't be put into service anymore but it makes a great test board for when you're wanting to, you know, see, you, you can get all, you know, you can see what changes when you make to a, to a menu or a sub menu or how, how it reacts and you, uh, you change, let's say, uh, let's say you make it a discharge error temperature rooftop unit and you want to change it to a zone you can see what how your sub menus change when you do that load code into it do all kinds of good things you do it on your bench at home and that's if I can get this doggone thing soldered in Sometimes it's easier said than done. I 
expertise of board soldering is limited to uh, messing with the video game cartridges I had, put new batteries in. Should have put the finer tip on here. There we go. Get that one to take a little better. Let's check continuity across the doggone thing. there so now let me get this all back together and I'm gonna get a 24 volt source made up where I can safely put power to it without hurt you know getting hurt and uh, from there we'll uh, check it out see how it works now you didn't think this job was gonna get completed without Vito getting involved, did you? Got my MB3, got him set up for electrical. Got my, uh, got screwdrivers, got uh, strippers, blah, 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 all the electrical stuff. Bore you with that. But what I have in here that I need, there's my other Fluke 87.5. But I've got my terminals in here. And I found these little cases on Amazon. They're just the right size for what I needed to fit in my meter bag. Three. But what I need is a way to get those pins get electric to them. And it's not going to be pretty because, unfortunately, you don't get an extra plug with uh, a new controller. So it's not like you can borrow the old one or what have you. So my options are is try to find maybe one of these guys that will fit over the pin solidly and uh, work. So let me uh, free up both hands here and finagle something up and then... If, when, when I get something that works, I'll show you. All right, with the help of these tools, got a couple of, got these just squeezed to the point where they'll hold onto the pins and they're not sloppy. So what I'm gonna do is now, I'm gonna hook these up. I'll plug this in first. I'm gonna verify this is the hot and this is the neutral. And once I do that, I'll plug it into my, uh, refurbished Microtech controller, get it fired up, and we'll get some code loaded into it and see if it works. Well, now we got it all set up, power's off, got the transformer ready to go, and here's where we go. We either smoke it or it's gonna work. If, uh, if it took a hit because of a power surge and blew the fuse, this should work, it should come on. If it is internally shorted somewhere that I don't know about this thing's gonna it's gonna end badly so let's see what happens so 
So right now I've got the old code. All right, had to kill it. I heard some sizzling and popping inside of that guy. It's not good. And it's obviously not because the power is touching or anything like that. We've got some issues on the board. The board internally has a short and uh, yeah, I can, I can smell it. Yep. It's internally got a short, which kind of sucks because I was hoping to use this guy as a as a test test board, and I obviously can't do that now because she's a really bad. So sometimes you get, sometimes you luck out, sometimes you don't. But uh, dug on it. Oh well, good experiment. You don't uh, you don't gain anything by not trying. So. I'm gonna have to take it apart and I wanna find out where my short was at. Here's a quick follow up here. I just decided to take it apart and see if I could see anything and I took the board out of the case. And on the back side, you got the front side here. You got those four guys right there. And on the flip side of where they're at, Got a little interesting stuff going on back here, but you can see where it's burned. You can see where the little, you know, just whatever was happening, you know, to kill the fuse in the first place was happening right here. So it's, it's one of these things where, yeah, it's not going to be repairable, unfortunately for me. But that's kind of the, the root cause right there. If I had to put another fuse in or a resettable fuse, it probably would have popped it. So there's the answer. You got it. T took an electrical surge and took a hit right here. Non-repairable. Oh well. Again, thanks for watching and uh, glad you came along for the ride.